winter has come and for the homeless it's no longer just about finding food to eat or a safe place to sleep but it's about keeping warm as harsh and unforgiving temperatures kick in. People experiencing homelessness are at a much higher risk of developing exposure-related conditions such as hypothermia than most. Today on one visited a site where some of the beneficiaries reside near the central business district. Yatoiva Bazeden Hout has been without a roof over his head for four years after losing his job and later abandoned by his family. I opted to stay on the street behind the museum. Yeah, we are safe, we can make fire at night, drink our coffee, make our food, enjoy, and then we sleep. Tomorrow we get up very early, we clean all the old place. It looks like there was nobody sleeping there. This winter is very harsh. Most of my, our f fellow street people have now squatted together to one place. Because as we know that uh, body heat is more, is more better than a blanket heat. Yeah. The chairperson of the National Council, Margaret Mensah Williams, launched the Homeless People's Parliament in May to address their plight and give them a voice. One of the first projects under this initiative is the Winter of Warmth campaign, where blankets and clothes were donated by Samaritans for the cause of keeping the less fortunate warm this winter. These people, they are not lost. The president said we must include everybody. So from there we came up to say it is winter, let us have the Winter Warmth campaign for them, the Winter of Warmth. So we asked that day through the media that people donate from all over whatever they have. There are still people who want to donate, but because this week is so cold, we said, okay, let us start with the little we have, and then we can have the other round later, because people are still busy to bring together. So this is how we came up with this. And from the staff from the National Council contributed also. So we want to thank them and everybody who contributed. But they have regular meetings here, and take decisions, regular decisions on the way forward. So it's a plan of action that we want to, as I identified in my speech, that we want to continue with. But I must tell you, nothing is done without their permission and nothing is done that they did not request. Siegfried Stumfer says the donations will go a long way in getting them through winter. Uh, I will just say thank you for the, all the Namibians, for the supplier, for the clankers, and for the things. We appreciate it, and we are struggling also to quote for us the ideas and the things that uh, paper things that we can look for us work. And that's why I want to say that all the Namibians, uh, if we we must we must not uh, look each other like we are like a papers of like an, an, like nothing with this initiative the chairperson of the national council is fighting the stigma that is faced by those that call the streets their homes williams also understands that most of them do not have documentation thus she plans to engage the ministry of home affairs to ensure that they all get at least identity documents for them to get skills and later jobs reporting for today on one i'm joseph shifeni